in this class we are going to discuss about the operation of the boost converter boost converter is a dc to dc converter in which the output voltage will be greater than the input voltage this is achieved only because of inductance present in the circuit now we are going to see this is the circuit diagram this is the input voltage this is the inductor this is the positive direction of the voltage across the inductor this is the positive direction of the inductor current this is the switch the switch is on whenever we apply the base voltage to the switch if you withdraw the base voltage the switch will be off this is the diode this is the capacitor which is connected across the load this is the positive direction of the load current this is the positive direction of the load voltage the voltage across the capacitor which is same as the voltage across the load because both are connected in a parallel now we are going to see the operation of the circuit here we have taken the two cycles of the operation of the switch t on t of time again t on t of time this is one cyclic operation this is another cycle we have taken the load current as a constant load current so we have drawn the constant line with respect to the time next we are going to draw the inductor current when switch is on current is passing from source inductor switch again written to the source here how much current is required by the load the current should be given by the capacitor in this manner because we are assuming that load current is constant moreover so it is off in this interval inductor current will be changing from minimum value to the maximum value i want to i2 when switch is off nothing but here it is open the voltage across the source as well as the voltage across the inductor both gets added and followed by a single diode so the diode is goes to the on state once it is on now the current is passing from source inductor load again written to the source in this interval the current is changing from maximum value to the minimum value again when switch is on current is changing from minimum to the maximum again maximum to the minimum switch is on means there is some amount of energy will be stored in the inductance switch is off means that energy will be given to the load as well as the capacitor now we are going to see the voltage across the inductor when switch is on apply the cable in this loop vs minus vl equal to zero so vl equal to vs when switch is off now the current is passing in this manner apply the cable in this loop vs minus vl minus v not equal to zero find the value of vl that is equal to vs minus it is a boost converter so the output voltage will be greater than the input voltage so the voltage across the inductor during the off state is negative now we are going to draw the voltage across the inductor this is vs this is vs minus v not because it is negative again vs vs minus v not now we are going to draw the capacitor current when switch is on the capacitor will be supplying a current of i not nothing but a negative current this is minus i not in this interval the capacitor will be discharges when switch is off now the current is passing from source inductor load in this manner one path one more path is in this manner if we apply the kcl at this point the current entering into the point a nothing but il leaving current is nothing but ic and i not so il equal to ic plus i not you find the ic il minus i not you know the waveform for the il here you know the waveform for the i not here at every interval from this point to this point we have to subtract the i not from il we are getting this type of waveform at this instant the inductor current is i2 at this instant the inductor current is i1 so i2 minus i not here i1 minus i not again switch is on so the capacitor has to supply the load current the constant current is passing through the capacitor in this band. when the capacitor current is negative nothing but the actual current is passing to opposite to the reference 
this is a positive direction of capacitor current so the current has to pass in this panel opposite so the capacitor will be discharges when the capacitor is discharged the voltage across the capacitor will be decreases so the voltage across the load also will be decreases from maximum value to the minimum value again from this point capacitor current is positive nothing but capacitor is charging so the voltage across the capacitor will be increases as well as the load also will be increases again discharges again nothing but the load voltage will be oscillating between the maximum value to the minimum value now we are going to find out the expression for the output voltage to find that one you have to consider the inductor waveform apply the inductor volt second balance equation the average voltage across the inductor over a one switching period is zero nothing but a sum of this area and this area whole divided by t total time period equal to zero this area we are getting the vs into tr this area we are getting the vs minus v naught into tr divided by t equal to zero you cross multiply this one vs into tr plus vs minus v naught into tr equal to zero take vs common T on plus T of minus V A naught into T of equal to zero. Find the value of V naught. V naught equal to V S into T of plus T on by T of. This we can write it as a one minus delta into V S. Where delta is nothing but a U T cycle that we can vary from the zero to one, which is related to the switch Q. Now we are finding the Variation of output voltage versus U-T cycle delta. V naught equal to 1 by 1 minus delta into Vs. Take the delta on the x-axis. Here we consider the three values. One is delta equal to 0. Another one is delta equal to 0 0.5. Another one is the delta equal to 1. Now in this expression you take the three values individually and find the corresponding voltage. When delta equal to 0 here, the output voltage becomes a Vs, nothing but this point. If we take the delta equal to 0 0.5, then output voltage is equal to 2 Vs, noted here. When delta equal to 1, output voltage becomes infinity, but infinity is nothing but a very high value. Here I have taken the point here. If we line join all these points, we are getting the 1 curve. So from this expression you can say very easily that as the duty cycle is changing from 0 to 1, the output voltage will be changing from Vs to the infinity. Whatever the duty cycle it is, the output voltage is greater than the input voltage. That's why we are calling as a boost converter. This boosting operation is occurs only due to the presence of inductance in a circuit. So thank you very much for watching this video.